The icy, lonely world of Pluto, as pictured by an artist, we have to imagine this distant fringe of the solar system because Pluto and its moons have never been seen in detail. Three, two, one. There we go! I can see it! Amid massive excitement in January 2006, NASA launched its New Horizons spacecraft for the long trek out towards Pluto, and it's now closing in. It was back in 1930 that the tiny speck of Pluto was first spotted. More recently, the Hubble Space Telescope picked out this blurry image. And now the New Horizons mission is getting close enough to see some very strange details. It's so exciting because Pluto is a completely unmapped world. Because it's only ever been an artist's impression, nobody knows what the surface of Pluto is like. We have some idea about the colour. We've seen murky features starting to emerge, and already they're very puzzling. This mission is about exploring the very edge of the solar system, and we can explain it by picturing the sun here in the middle and bringing on the four small rocky planets, including Earth. They're the ones that orbit closest to the sun. Further out, there are four much larger planets, the so-called gas giants. Best known of them is Saturn with its rings. And then right on the margin, there's tiny Pluto, only discovered 85 years ago. And this completes the rather neat image of nine worlds in our solar system that most of us were taught in school. This is how we imagine Pluto might look. Until now, no one has seen it close up. It's three billion miles away and so small, it's now called a dwarf planet. Now, it turns out that Pluto is just one part of a massive outer zone of the solar system that we only started learning about in the last 20 years, an immense ring of tiny planets and lumps of rock and ice known as the Kuiper Belt. Thousands of objects left over after the planets were formed. And now NASA's spacecraft, New Horizons, after racing from Earth on a journey of nearly 10 years, will skim close to Pluto and then go beyond into a huge realm of space that's never been properly investigated. Scientists say they've no idea what the spacecraft will find. And because the encounter is so far away, radio signals take four and a half hours to reach Earth. But when the first pictures and data come in, we'll all be witnesses to one of the great moments of discovery. David Truckman, BBC News.